So hi, I'm Mana. I'm with the Oakland Public Library, and I'm really excited to share with you our OPL bike library, which you're seeing on the screen now. Uh, it is a trailer um, that hitches onto anybody's bike. And uh, Oakland Public Library has always had extensive outreach services in the community. Um, it supported a bookmobile for quite some time. Um, it had ex went to a lot of meet, uh, community events, um, fairs. Um, but as you can see, it's a little big. Um, it requires a special license to drive. And we wanted something that was a little more nimble, green, and ecotastic. So this is the bookmobile after. Uh, it is a small trailer um, that was inspired really by Seattle Public Library's fleet of outreach bikes. So Seattle has a very formal, you know, very well-managed program. They have 10 bikes. You have to sign like waivers and take safety classes. Ours is a little bit more informal. Um, it is custom designed trailer by a company called Kick Trailer that's based in Oakland. Uh, it has four tiers of cascading book uh, displays on either side. And that little uh, silver thing that you see in the back holds a uh, small ion stereo that's Bluetooth enabled. Um, you can hold books on display while it's in motion because it has bungee cords to hold books in place. So you can do face outs. Um, and uh, it can store tons of books in the trailer. So I also carry a little small plastic folding table and we do bike tube crafts with it um, on the small table. So we, uh, because it's a small footprint, um, we do earrings uh, from used bike tubes and that's been super popular with people of all ages, um, especially at some of the bike events that we go to. Um, so in total, it can hold up to maybe 100 pounds or so, handles great. Um, and again, it's been a total attention grabber. Um, and I think some of the success has been the fact that uh, Oakland is a super bike friendly city. Uh, suppose, there's a ton of cyclists um, in Oakland, although you know, going around market in the morning, it's like critical mass all the time. Um, I think Oakland's getting to that kind of level and saturation. So Oakland hosts two regular sort of community monthly events that are very conducive to the bike trailer. Um, one is East Bay Bike Party, where thousands do a group ride throughout various locales in the East Bay. Um, and also First Friday, which is a street festival in Uptown where the bike library's been very successful at. Also annually, Oakland hosts something called Pedal Fest. That's a celebration of all things bikes at Jack London Square. And it's done two Oaklavia events. So uh, Oaklavia is an, a annual event where streets, major streets, are closed off to all car traffic to encourage cycling and pedestrian activity on the streets. Um, also, promoting bicycling is a huge initiative and uh, priority for the city of Oakland. Um, the city of Oakland has a goal to increase bikeway mileage by 40% and bicycle parking by 50% in the next year. And the city also supports a very robust bicycle and pedestrian facilities program. So there's a lot of funding there and staffing support that uh, we're able to partner with through um, as a city department. So um, in that landscape, the uh, bike library made its debut in October of 2013. And Amy Sunny, who's in the audience, took it out on its first inaugural ride. Um, it was at the Life and Living Festival in West Oakland, and that's about a year ago and it made its comeback last Saturday to that same event. And it was a huge success. I think it's the most photographed branch of OPL. Um, it's the most tweeted branch of OPL um, and definitely got a lot of attention at this uh, community festival. Um, it was able to uh, leave the library, take books out into the park and uh, get around in a way that I think is very unique. Um, here I am at the Libros Libros pop-up library um, a month later. Uh, this is in Latham Square. Uh, it's where two streets meet. It's a small park. <laughs> so there's no way that a car could have gotten there. Um, because I can carry all of my outreach materials in the bike itself, I don't have to worry about parking or logistics. I just pull up and I'm ready to go. Um, so let's see. The books I use are part of what's called an outreach collection. Um, we just take rejected donations. We get tons of donations at Oakland because uh, we do accept uh, donated books into our collection. So the community is really eager to give us their books, um, but we can only accept so many. So what we do with rejected books, and I try to only take paperbacks because hardcovers are pretty heavy. Um, we throw a cute sticker on that says, read it, love it, pass it on. And then it goes on the bike trailer. 
Um, I do encourage people to return it to any branch if they don't want to pass it on to a friend. And I've had about a 20% return rate on adult books, which I think is pretty amazing considering it's a complete honor system. Um, for children's books, it's quite a bit lower <laughs> um, to be expected, but I figure it, and you know, donors also agree with me that um, the books are out in the community, they're being enjoyed, they're living in people's lives as read books. So I figure that's better than sitting in some re you know, donation pile somewhere. Um, and it, so I think I've given away maybe close to a thousand books at this point, um, all without any financial investment from the library itself. So we also have technology because we want to take our tech on um, and promote it in the community. So I bought a, Mi -Fi, a Verizon MiFi system on a monthly plan. It's about 60 bucks and you can set up a wireless hotspot immediately um, for up to five users. Um, I have a Samsung Galaxy tablet that I take to show off all our e-stuff, um, you know, Zinio, uh, eBooks, Overdrive, 3M, Enki, all of that we can show off on our Samsung Galaxy tablet. Also, because I have a Bluetooth-enabled stereo, um, I stream Freegal music um, using the MiFi and the uh, Samsung Galaxy tablet. So I can promote all the cool stuff that the library has to offer um, through our digital library. Um, the bike library was a key uh, inspiration for applying for the Book to Action grant last year. So we got a small amount of money to, um, through the state library to partner with local bike shops and co-ops. Uh, we chose Ellie Blue's Everyday, Cy Everyday Bicycling um, as our big read. Uh, the author came, she did a group ride through East Oakland with us. We were able to connect with a bike co-op called El, El Collectivello. Um, in East Oakland, there's not a ton of bike shops like there are in other parts of Oakland. So they do a big service in the community. Um, they help kids set up their bikes as scraper bikes. So it was great to show Ellie Blue um, and other members of the cycling community um, what's available in East Oakland. Uh, so, here are some of the other events I've been to, um, and I think it's just been great to be able to partner with uh, organizations and also the city's Bicycle and, uh, Pedestrian Advisory Commission on initiatives that the library really wouldn't have been a part of in prior years. Um, so we've got strong partnerships now with Bike East Bay, they're a local advocacy organization for biking. Um, Walk Oakland, Bike Oakland, another similar group, um, as well as various bike shops that were really excited to support the library's efforts. Um, so they did, they offered to do a 10% off um, all bike parts and accessories throughout the month of May through um, this book to action grant. And also getting to things like Oglavia and, and Pedal Fest, I think wouldn't have happened without this bike library. Um, <coughs> And you'll learn more at CLA. There's going to be a huge panel of biking libraries. Um, Berkeley just got a trike, if Berkeley's here. Yay. <laughs> um, Mountain View has been doing some exciting bike-related programs. Right. And uh, there's going to be, I think, a lot more later on about biking libraries. So I think it's great that bicycling is sort of taking over library land, <laughs> not just in Seattle, but also in California. Um, and let's see, here are my details. I'm also on IG um, at Biking Librarian, and you can see a lot more photos there. And again, um, if you uh, go to our website, there's some details there as well. Thank you.